number one, I'm really happy to be here. Um, the piece that I did is a transparent watercolor, and there are a couple things to know about it. First of all, I'm surprised, number one. Uh, you never know what anyone's going to pick, if they're going to pick anything. But the piece itself, Life Goes On, is a plein air painting. And I did it late, late last fall, maybe in November. I live in Woodstock, and one of the major routes that come out of Woodstock is Route 120. And that's on the way to our home. We live in the country. So I've gone by this. Uh, Life Goes On is about a cemetery, a graveyard. Uh, it's about 200 years old because I saw some stones there that were that old. And I've driven by it for literally over three decades. I mean, I've been going by this cemetery. It's on a hill right on the curve on 120. And I thought, of course, I thought to myself over the years, I'm going to paint this thing sometime. Um, and so the weather was warm late in the fall. And so I went there and I set up. Uh, and there's a specific reason I also painted it. My brother was on my mind. And I won't get into the specifics, but um, it's kind of touching and it's a tribute, if you will, thinking about Paul. So I sat up in the cemetery. It's a small little cemetery, and the, there's a farm right next to it, and the cows are there and all that. And I put myself against the wrought iron fence, my back against the wrought iron fence sitting there. And the highway is right behind me, state highway. So the traffic's going zoom, 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 and the, the semis I could hear. But I'm painting, painting. It's got a nice arc to it, the hill. And the stones are on this arc. You know, it's on a hilly arc like this. And there's a little American flag way at the end. And there's this old tree behind it, behind the stones, which sets them off. As I'm painting, of course, you think you hear or feel something there, you know, like something's around. I kind of looked around a few times to make sure, even though my, my back was against this fence and I'm looking at my subject painting this plein air. It's 11 by 14 plein air. Um, I find out later, there's this uh, wild turkeys that are right in this area. I've been there for months. They hang around this woods in the cemetery. So I don't know if I'm hearing things, you know, like uh, spirits or wild turkeys. Uh, but I'm kind of looking over my shoulder. Uh, I did it, you know, in a short, fairly short time, maybe two hours, hour and a half. I submitted it to the Norris show because it was personal to me. And, and I guess that you'd call it from the heart. And so, uh, I just wasn't painting a pretty picture because how many people paint cemeteries? I've only done one other before in my life. So I'm really happy with the piece because of what it meant to me. And then as a final footnote, if I see the judge, I'm going to tell her, her description of my piece, her, you know, her description, how she interpreted it, is better than my painting. <laughs> so I just thought it was so cool. Um, so again, thank you for having me.